Hello, Josie here. I get a lot of questions about how I do the filming for my painting videos. So in this little behind the scenes video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how I actually make my videos. Um, so here we have my table. You can see some of my lighting. I have four uh, lights because I need to have light from pretty much every angle. Um, you can see my camera rig up there. My husband built me this box and mounted it to the ceiling. The box slides up and down, and then of course the arm will swivel any direction I need it to go. And it's been just great. Something that is very important to me is uh, lighting. And it took me a while to figure out that um, Light bulbs come in different color temperature that is called Kelvin. And the lower the number, the warmer the temperature. The higher the number, the cooler and more like daylight the temperature. So I uh, prefer a very cool temperature high number, which in the case uh, of my current bulbs, I'm using LED bulbs that are 5,000K. They're also 1,500 lumens, which means they're really, really, really bright. Because they're LEDs, they don't get too hot, so that's good. Um, like I was saying, I need light from all points of the compass. Um, your normal household bulbs it, are usually like 2000K, and they're very warm. You can see how uh, yellow those look compared to these super bright light studio lights. All right, here's my camera. This is probably the most expensive thing I have. I bought a DSLR. Um, it's a Canon T5i Rebel. Um, it's got that articulated screen, which seriously I thought was kind of lame when I bought it. I thought it was kind of a gimmick. But it turns out um, it's the most essential thing I have in my studio setup because it means that I can actually see what I'm doing while the camera is pointed down from the ceiling. Because otherwise, you know, you can't even see if it's directed the right way and it's like super annoying. But this way I can get it exactly um, the right distance. I can get my focusing exactly right. Um, all of that stuff. It also has a white balance um, correction. So I auto set the white balance to match my studio lights and that really helps. After I have my raw footage, I import it into my computer. And I am using Premiere Elements uh, 11, which is an older version of Elements um, that I think is just as good as the latest one. I think the latest one's 15. I actually downloaded the free version and tried it, but it didn't have any additional features that were helping me. So I figured I can just stick with the old one. Um, I hate the trend these days of making people subscribe to programs. I really prefer to own my own and get to know it and get to know how it works and um, and not have to get it updated all the time. That's annoying. I feel like I might be sort of elderly in that respect. Who wants, who wants an update? Not me. I just want something that I know will work every single time. So anyway, uh, Premiere Adobe 11. I think it's probably important to tell people that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a complete hack. I seriously just figured this stuff out on my own. And there's probably way better ways to do it, maybe more professional ways, for sure more expensive ways. But I'm really cheap, and I like to do things as cheap as possible. So instead of spending thousands of dollars for expensive studio lights, I spent, you know, $30 for a bunch of desk lamps and then some, you know, LED bulbs. And that seems to work. All right, well, thanks for uh, joining me on this little journey in my studio. Love inviting people in. I'd love to hear your comments. You might even know a lot more about this than me, so feel free to give me tips or tricks. Um, also, let me know if there's any kind of content you'd like to see in the future, because I'll be making more of these mini tutorials. Uh, behind the scenes things of the, uh, the different um, studio activities that I do. Uh, please subscribe to me here for more videos and head on over to Instagram to see daily paint videos. Thanks a lot.
Josie signing out.